Good afternoon. It feels very weird saying that because you've got Yinka here. I'm not usually here on a Sunday, but this is Capital Extra. And in the spirit of Valentine's weekend, I had to bring the two biggest troublemakers and my mates in the UK yeah. on the show for you. It's H&RD. There you are. Oh, nice. We should have all thrown that <laughs> at the same time. All there. I, I was ready for you there. Happy Valentine's. Happy uh, Valentine's. We're going to have some fun for this two-hour special on Capital Extra. Jeez. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. Very. Yeah, are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Have you got your Cupid bows at the ready? Yes. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling for a Sunday? Good. Lovely. Good. You get me. Love Valentine's Day. Do, are, are you Valentine's people? Do you, do you... do you? I'm actually not. I'm actually not. I believe that you should love someone all year round and not just for one day. Ooh. 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 Someone should put that My in a card. brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For those of you listening, they just spun at each other. It was a little bit cringe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's it been like working together, though? Now. What games? What do you mean? We're here to celebrate love. You just said we was our exactly. friends. At the, at the, the first thing you said was my mates. Yeah. H. And then she said that. We're here to celebrate love. And, it. and war. <laughs> your new single that yeah. you've been working on. Yes. yes. Uh, how was it getting in the studio, making that track together? How, how do you feel about it? There was a lot of love in the room. Yeah, yeah. So I <laughs> no, there wasn't. There was. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. It was just vibes, isn't it? Everything, like he says, it's a bit, not like it's cringe to say it because everyone says it, but... It was just, it was all natural. We didn't have no plan at all. It was, and that, it's actually weird because most times you go into sessions with other artists, especially because we ain't collabed in the studio before. Yeah. You have a set plan, maybe a couple beats you've both given the, like, the green light to, a mm-hmm. couple concepts you've given the green light to. Mm-hmm. It literally weren't that. We just got there and was like, what are you saying? And then, yeah. You know, you two do strike me actually uh, as friends. Mm-hmm. Like, it, how, how, when did you meet? When was the first time that you met? Reading. So last year? Was that? Was that the first time we met? That was the first time I linked you in the flesh, yeah. But we were like, yeah. we just, yeah, yeah. We, we were before. friends before that anyway. Just no, but it's like, me, it's like me and Shayna from Capital Extra Breakfast. Like, everyone thinks that we were friends before we started the show. Yeah. We've been doing the show for two and a bit years, and obviously now we're, the, we're besties. Yeah. But yeah. when we met, when we started piloting, that it was just like, that was it. You don't even like each other off camera, you and Shayna, do you? Well, now she's not here, I can tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> But like, yeah, yeah, been cool for time. Like I always say, we're just similar people. He's like the money version of me or I'm the Brighton version of him, whichever you want to call it. Mm, mm. Both very lit people, you get me? Well, get me. Uh, you, H, you're single. Yes. RD? I'm so single. Are you like a Pringle ready to mingle? Yeah, all that stuff. Amen. Uh, RD, what about you? No, I'm not single. Why do you sound ashamed? Say of chest, you've got a woman. <laughs> Taken, man. Yes! Get me? Yes! Um, up. So, BM, so, my BM, so, so, so no, but <laughs> I did get you some some bits because I wasn't sure because we haven't spoken before to, like before this. Oh, so I well, thought, the last time I was in here, you was all questioning me about my love life, and, and you that. didn't give us no answers. It was it was actually yeah, I know, but then the last radio should be done. H baby, out. Basically, you didn't bring me anything for Valentine's Day, which is like a bit awkward. Yeah, I did. What is it? That jumper. Oh. <laughs> You didn't bring me anything for Valentine's Day. Well, Thank you, Again, H. last time we had a conversation, we were talking about what I buy girls for Valentine's Day and you didn't seem too keen in it. I don't give girls flowers. <laughs> I give... Yeah, and that's why I wasn't keen, bruv. But yeah, so... No, I wasn't like, not remember it was the... Um... No, what was it? It was the Victoria's Secret underwear. Yeah, he said he would buy underwear. Yeah, it's a gift for both, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Take a chip down. And, again, and I was Som- looking at him and, like... And Anne Summers gift card. Can I say that on radio? You can say Anne Summers. Cool, yeah. But since you didn't bring me anything to Capital Extra, I thought I'd make you feel bad. And give you guys this. Ah, oh, oh, thank you. Very lovely. You're taller. You're gonna have to grab mine for me as well. So I just jumped. Oh, there you go. So I got you some some flowers and some chocolate. I don't give girl flowers, but I do receive. Thank things. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, don't Appreciate eat all the that. chocolates because I, I would like some. Right. But oh, I thought I got the Lindor as well. Like, mm, you went in. It's the good actually, chocolates. I actually do feel bad. These match my outfit. It's Sunday afternoon on Valentine's weekend, and I am joined by two of the most sought-after dates in town. Well, now one. Because we find out that RD has I got a I can still be sought after if I'm... In fact, furthermore, oh, that's, oh, girls yeah. nowadays are... Even more naughty. thirsty than ever before. None. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. But, like, I feel like... Man said naughty. When, when they know that you're taken... This is why I'm not open about relationships and that, because when they know that you're taken, there's just more open for, like, just... Oh, RD's friends. It's all right, no, it's only because he rang his mum earlier. Yeah, stu- yeah, it's more open for stupidness and things like that and just like lies and then like wanting you more because you're taking like wanting what you can't have. So in the thing. spirit of lovely Valentine's Dayness, thanks for bringing the tone down. Well, yeah. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> uh, your new song is called War, which we're going to get into in a sec. But for now, we're going to stay on the theme of love on Capital Extra. So I thought that you two could help me answer some listener dating dilemmas. Yeah, 
So what I did on Friday was um, I asked people to get in touch on Capital Extra, but you can still tweet us. Oh, you can still this. slide on our Instagram at DMs at Capital Extra and let us know your dating dilemmas because these two are going to solve them. You feeling in the spirit of love? Of course. Definitely. Every day. Now that I've got the chocolate as well. Mm. Yeah, you've really mm-hmm. made my day. Make well. sure you save me some though. Yeah, sweet. On Friday, it's <laughs> not going to save me any. It's going to see you laughing. It's going to see you laughing. <laughs> On Friday, um, I asked the listeners on my breakfast show to send in some of their romantic dilemmas so that you can both answer them for me. And you guys can offer up some sound advice. So we've gone through, we've trawled through our DMs and all that sort of stuff, all our tweets. And there are some pretty wild ones in there, but I thought I'd give uh, H, you one first. Yeah, let's do it. I'll take my jacket off for this one. Yeah. All right, so this one is uh, for H and it says, my boyfriend said he doesn't like me following you on Instagram. Me? And yeah, All right. yeah. <laughs> and liking your pictures. Yeah. He even gets upset when I sing along to your songs. What should I do, H? <laughs> Please help me. Bro, it's not funny. It's not funny, bro. Don't laugh, bro. <laughs> um, it's a sticky one because it depends. It, uh, it, 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 it needs to grow up, bro. <laughs> She needs to tell him that to grow up. But at the same time, if we're like around the same age and he thinks that his girlfriend may be very accessible to me, in a sense of, like if they live in Manchester and they're both 22 years old and they, I might drive past them every day, then maybe he's got a little bit more of a reason to be a bit salty about it. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so you like, gro- like, is that like the rule book if you're, if you're from the same town? And if that, you're from Manchester, no, be worried. Do you get it? No, because like, let's, let's say, let's <laughs> say, let's say I'm pretty sure, oh no, no, don't matter. <laughs> don't, that, no, no, I get what you're saying. Get you get what I'm saying? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, as in, if you're from, if, if you're from, there's more chance of her running into you and if she's that much of a fan, realistically, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But, but at the same time, no, you know, Everyone's got to have a celebrity. My man probably l- fancies someone and liking some. My man's probably liking girls' pictures from the ends. Never mind, no celebrities, isn't it? <laughs> so they need to grow up at the end of the day. Yeah, I like yeah, how yeah. serious you're taking this day. Yeah, this is, yeah. You're really getting into the heart of this dilemma. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day, man. Yeah, serious stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell her to come see me. There you go. Go, go see H. That's it. <laughs> He's mad single still. You heard it correctly. This I is a Valentine's ages. special. Yeah. Usually... You're breathing all over the mics. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what happened? So let me just get a few in now. <laughs> and then we'll just pepper them through just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you lot have been solving our listener dilemmas. I've got one for you, RD. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, this one is from Ellis on Instagram. I had a little pre of her profile. She's gorgeous. Send it, man. H and RD are my Valentine's dilemma. I don't know which one I want to marry. Well, I don't believe in marriage in it, so you're going to have to go for him. Wow, you're just breaking hearts today, you know. No, do you know what it is? I'll do like the um the party and like the I'll buy the ring, I'll do all that, but like you see like all the government like the, the actual it. paper. Yeah, like papers and not it, to me that's weird. Like for me to prove my devoting love to you yeah, or whatever, yeah. you gotta tell Boris and them and that we're together. It's just a bit weird. Not having it. No, it's weird. He doesn't want to sign his life away. No, yeah, it's weird. So this has become instead of the dilemmas, it's get my mate a date. H you are swimming in Gower right now. I know. You got Ellis? Well, listen, look, like me and my girl are very similar people, so for me to even be open to the fact of bantering at that joke, <laughs> I get bad enough <laughs> when I get home, innit? <laughs> Literally, I was on a live with him and he must have flirted with one girl for a joke and she was downstairs fuming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I like the fact that you're under the thumb. It's quite fun. It's quite fun for me anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's t- like twice as much for me, isn't it? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, we ain't got the same type at all anyway. Though, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Did you like my story the other day? Did you see what when they said, uh, someone said, who's harder, H or R D? And then my reply was, depends what type of girl study for <laughs> <it is." laughs> And that's enough of that. Thank you very much for the sound advice. I thought this was going to be a romantic show. I brought love confetti. I'm trying to be in that, in that vibe. Look what I brought, yeah. RD is breaking hearts. No, okay, sorry, I'll get into the And H is breaking backs. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> no, what, what? Give me the next question. I'm, I'm going to sort nah, 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 nah. I've got a new game for you now. Oh, yeah. It's Valentine's weekend. Oh, you are it. tuned. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's weekend. You're tuned my, into Capital Extra. Hand, sorry. sorry. No, nope, go on. I'm just going to say, if I wanted to be annoying, I could just block your face. <laughs> 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 It, w- it would probably get more views that way. So just do that for a little while. There you go. Go on, do the intro, do the intro. It's Valentine's weekend. You're locked into Capital Extra. Yinka here. I've got RD and H. H is messing up my camera angles, but it's all good. Um, so 
If you're wondering why you're listening to me, Yinka, on a weekend, it's because I've managed to persuade these two lovely lads, H and RD, to join me. And guys, it's time for a little game. Now, I'm nervous because you did say before the break um, that you know, your your girl might get a little bit angry at certain games that we want to play yeah, on Capital Extra. Yeah, but no, it's all in the name of banter. Yeah, come it's on. all in the name of love. No, it should be fine. I was I was joking. She's good. She's good. She's good. It's time for Snog Mary Avoids. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, H, Yo. you always declare your love for both Thames and Lizzo yes. on your Instagram. Oh my baby. So I girls. thought that we would put you to the test first. Yeah. We've got Snog Mary Avoid. Yeah. And we have got it's the third one. Lizzo, yeah. Thames, yeah. Molly May. Oh, mate, are you mad? I'd snog Lizzo, marry um, Thames and avoid Molly May. You didn't even think about it? Yeah, come on, that's a so Yeah, that's not so type easy. Battle, yeah. You didn't think about it? Yeah. All right, so RD, you don't escape this. Go on. Text your girlfriend sorry right now. <laughs> nah, she's good, man. We'll be <laughs> snog May, avoid. Miss Banks, Doja Cat, Georgia Smith. I wanted that one as well. <laughs> Oh, I'd... Miss Banks, Doja Cat, Georgia Smith. Oh, no, now you're going to get me in trouble because whoever I avoid is kind of peak. I'd... You know what, yeah? I'd snog Doja Cat, I'd marry Miss Banks because I like the banner and just, it would just make more sense and then I'd avoid Georgia Smith. But still love Georgia Smith, innit? Right, here. Well, she's very popular, though, so, like... I know, that's why Let me. It was, I felt like a kind of safe option, but that is actually how I feel as well. Oh, yeah. I, I'd have the exact the same answer. Yeah. Really? Why would you have that answer? I'd snog Doja Cat because she's very snuggable. Yeah. <laughs> I love Miss Banks. So, yeah. I would marry Miss Banks, genuinely. And um, I'd avoid Georgia Smith because she unfollowed me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah. When I, um, How do people know when someone unfollows you on Instagram? I never get this. I went to message her, tried to get her on a song. And, and it was she, like... She never replied and I thought, I swear, she follows me and then I looked and she didn't follow me anymore. Like, oh no. Georgia? Miss Smith. Come on, G. We've played Snog, Marry, Avoid. Yep. And the, when I said Miss Banks' name, H said, <gasps> so I know that you'd marry her. Yeah, I love Miss Banks. Sorry, I love Miss Banks. <laughs> <laughs> now, lads, are you feeling romantic today? Definitely. Damn right. Is it all of the confetti and the chocolates that H yeah. ate? Yeah, and you got your yeah. flowers yeah. and you're feeling good. Loving feeling it. very special right now. Do you have any special Valentine shouts that you'd like to do on Capital Extra? Why is everyone still looking at me for? <laughs> my private life, my private life. Large up my mum, yeah. That's what I'm picking up. Large up mumsy. Oh, loves it. Um, and H wants to pick up all I, the I fans. I have to stand by the tune, innit? So <laughs> no, uh, flowers. yeah. Uh, large up Miss Banks. That's it. He just loves her. Big up my girl and big up Margaret Robbie as well. Sorry. Ooh. Margot Robbie? Yeah. Who's that now? The the the, the, um, the one who Wolf of Wall oh, Street yeah, yeah, and yeah, she yeah, plays yeah. Uh, Harlequin. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, she's nice. She's good. Yeah. She could be your sister. Yeah, she, I, yeah. Everyone, everyone, I just always get compared to sexy blonde girls. <laughs> yeah, I do. do you know what? One time, yeah, me and Shayna, okay, we're sorry, okay? Um, we, I don't we, know. I've seen you slag me off a couple of times. No, it's, not, no, it's, it's banter because I love you, so it's right. all right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I love you, yeah, 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 so yeah. we're allowed to do yeah, this. Yeah, 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 One time we did an app where we put a wig on you, and you are gorgeous. Like, you actually could be a woman. Like, it's, oh, it's, I see that. I see that of both of us, actually. Yeah, Instagram. and you're cute too, yeah, with yeah, those yeah, brows yeah, yeah. looking like Cara Delevingne. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, if you're after a Valentine's playlist for tomorrow, uh, head to Global Play. We've got you covered with our playlist on Capital Extra. It's called Booed Up. Mm, you heard right. Um, H, you like to sing an R&B tune every oh. once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've played this on Capital Extra as well. Yeah, we that. bully you. I know. We do, but it's fun. No, you really do bully me, you know. We do have... Um, Mario, let me love you to play. Play that. So do you oh, want to? I can just sing it all the way. Through can you? Can you? you so while everyone goes checks out the Boo Up playlist on Global Player, yeah. can you give us a little rendition of Mario, love you? Yeah, give me a countdown. All right, three, two, one. Drop back, me. <laughs> Baby, I just don't get it. Do you enjoy being hurt? Ooh. I know you smell the perfume. Ooh. The makeup on his shirt. Jeez. Do you believe his stories? You're really singing. You know, you know that they're all lies. I didn't expect the whole verse. But I don't know <laughs> the rest of that <laughs> bit. But, but I just don't know why. If, if I was, was your man, baby, you never worry about what I do. I'll be coming home. I can't sing. Can we stop now? Let every Mario night. Oh. Doing you oh. right. Oh. oh. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> now we've had all of the romance on the show and it's time to go to war. First off, first off, how did war come about? 
How did you how did you get together in the studio and say this is it? This is the concept. We've got the horses. Do we've you know got it wasn't it was yeah, like it wasn't all of that. And obviously I always say like oh there's so much more behind the scenes than you think and a lot of structure, but this is almost the opposite. Like so we'd obviously we get along whatever we speak all the time mm -hmm. on socials and whatnot. We always miss each other, like in and outside of like. Like miss each other, like oh I miss you, babe. No, like if he'll be in London, <laughs> oh. I'll just leave London. Like, oh, I've, I've oh. been Manny and that, and he'll like he'll be like oh I'm actually down in London, whatever. But um yeah, cool. So we've gone studio. It's the first time ever we've gone studio together. So normally when you do that with like two artists that ain't collab before, you have like a plan. You might green light some beats that you both like. Yeah. Some concept done none of that. Literally just walked in, just like what you saying? Made a one song, jam for a bit, bantered talked on some combos and some subjects and me and him and all of that. Then I walked out of the room to have a conversation with someone else and um, Lytek and YJ, the two producers who we both use basically all okay. the time anyway. They're from Manny and it, big up them. And um, yeah, they played this one beat and I just walked in and I was just like, yeah, like a battle, like a proper like old school. But at first I wanted like, I wanted to go mad. I wanted like swords and like all sorts <laughs> in it. Like, I wanted to go wild. But um, yeah, just had this idea of this battle because everyone compares us for one. So the yeah. idea of war makes sense. But also I felt like I wanted to give everyone what they want, yeah. but not what they expect. I feel yeah. like everyone might have expected us to link up and be like, oh, party, gal drinking, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think the concept was different and we executed it well. I, I, if it was outside to us, that I don't think either of our fan bases Yeah, Yeah, and, and you guys sort of sort of bought in and, ma and made fun of that that warring aspect, especially you being from the north and, and you being from the south coast. I think it was very clever. And right now on Capital Extra, it's time for the ultimate war. Manchester versus Brighton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> get your game it. faces on. You've each got three quick fire questions on your city. So whoever gets the most correct wins. Ooh. You're repping your city. Yeah, well. There's no messing about. All right? Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ardy, you're going to go first. Go on. Three questions. You've got to be quick, baby. Are you ready? Oh, God. Yeah, go on. What is the full name of Brighton football team? I know this. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it Brighton or Albion? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if it was Brighton Albion or Brighton and Hove Albion. No, you got it right. You got it right. One of three. All right. Number two. What was Brighton originally called? What? Like, is there a year? Can, is there anything else I can get? Like, how long ago was it? I'm this? just reading the script, man. What was Brighton originally called? Yeah. Give it give it a whirl. Brightonia. Do you know what? You're not far. Bright Helmstone. I was nowhere near, but thank you anyway. But, you know, I would have guessed something like that. Are you, Bright Helmstone? When? Bright Helmstone. I'm going to say it was before we were born. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> Definitely before you were born. Before, right. before my great nan was born. <laughs> Number yeah. three, all right? So you've got one so far. Right. In your video, Oliver Twist, you yeah. were on the Brighton Wheel. How much is an adult price ticket? In my video, in Oliver Twist, I were on the Brighton Wheel. So, void question, I was on the i360 and I have not got Okay, how much? How much did you go on that? Go on then, big boy. <laughs> how much did you go on that one then? <laughs> go on, hit got, me. I ain't got a clue. You just feel like you get it wrong. No <laughs> love for you. But like the school give you them for free, innit? And then obviously I blew and other people paid for it, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's free for RD. It's free for RD. Considering that we got that question wrong, Maybe we'll give you one and a half points. We'll see. We'll see how H does. Yeah, the, the Brighton wheel got taken down. It was up for like 10 minutes and the whole oh, really? city just slated it. Like, Manchester used to have a wheel. There's no, you know, Manchester's kind of big though. There's nothing to look at on a Brighton wheel. Oh, yeah, just yeah. the sea and the seagulls. Yeah, the sea, just the sea. Yeah. yeah. And bare houses. Yeah. That's but I like, I like the little um, beach huts though. They're very cute. They're expensive, you know. Are they? They're peas, but oh. I wouldn't buy one. Do you know what? I always think living by the coast, this is nothing to do with the show. It's just, what, what, just my thoughts, um, which are interesting. Um, you know... When, like back in the day when you would buy like a house or whatever and you've got, like, got a sea view mm. and then people buy the bits in front of you and then they just build their house in front of your house and now yeah. you're just looking at somebody's kitchen. Yeah. That would really piss me off. <laughs> yeah, but you can't, you can't really, like, the sea view houses, you wouldn't be able to do that, innit? No, 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 they, yeah. But you know, like, before big, like, tall, tall buildings were a thing, yeah. like hotels and that. But if they, if they Maybe when it's called Brighton Stone. Gentr if they tried gentrify it. Back, back, back when it was called Bright Homestone. Yeah. Bright Homestone. Yeah. Like, they tried gentrify it, that might happen, but I can't see them trying to do that to Brighton. No. All right. H, you're up next. How well do you know Manchester? Like the back of my hand. There we go. Let's see how well you know your hands. 
<laughs> you're right. I do do that. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> like they fully, fully do bully him. I do but it. I feel, like, but I give it to her. And no, I'm it's like, because I love him, and he knows that I love him. I let her slide. Yeah, I don't yeah. do anything. When to I first I'm cute. ever started coming here, straight away I just give it to them. So maybe yeah. I set the tone of just not having it. No, <laughs> it's because you answer back, and H just looks at me like another one. Like he just looks at me. He writes it on his notes. Okay. Question number one. Yeah. How many boroughs are there in Greater Manchester? Uh, He's actually counting. It's very tense. The scene is boroughs. I didn't even know my Greater Manchester had boroughs. What? Maybe four. There's ten. How? What? What? Can you name? Is, is there any names on there? Ask Jasmine. What? Ask Jasmine to name them. Google. <laughs> Google. Yeah. What? Rochdale, Oldham. Is are the names there? No. No, it's Rochdale, just it's just Oldham, says ten right. in pink. All right, don't worry, don't worry. He's still got two. He's still got two. Nice, no, fuming. Still got two. Yeah, don't, no. be don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's all right. It's not. It's not real. Go on. <laughs> it's not real. It's not yeah, real. Sorry. This is a game of capital extra. Yeah. This is not real. I know. <laughs> all right. What year did Manchester United win the treble? 99. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right, this is for the win. This oh, is for the win. never got that in a million years. Come this on, is for then. the win. And this one, yeah, considering on Thursday you bigged up Liam Gallagher, you kind you, you have to know this. I'm going to give him some easy questions. Whatever, I'm gonna how gonna much does the will cost, man? What? All right. <laughs> no one from Brian got... You're, you're from London. How many times have you been on the London Eye? Yeah. So, to ask number three. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, no, I haven't. Obviously, it's, it's lame, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, why are you asking me? Because they told me to, bruv. Do you know I'm what? A I'm, not, I'm not having that like, these 10 boroughs in Manchester either, but go on, we'll, <laughs> work right. on that. We'll, we'll talk about that after. Good luck editing this, Jasmine. <laughs> Question number three Oasis Wonderwall yeah. peaked at what position in the charts in 1995? Now, think about it. I don't know why I said that. Good luck. Surely it went number one. Yeah, that's what in my head I'm thinking it has to be number one. But at the same time, when, when in what year? Oh, in ninety five. Ninety five. Specifically that year. When did it come out? You can't ask. You know I'm trying to. You know I'm trying to get this Liam thing. Uh, <laughs> number two. Twice. Yes. <laughs> three minutes. Yes. Well done, well done, well done, darling. Well done. I think Liam Gallagher's one step closer to taking your seven mil. <laughs> uh, we heard your brand new single War on the show and we love it. And I have to ask actually, considering that you two are greats in my opinion, how do you feel about tonight's Super Bowl lineup? So we've got Dr. Dre, Snoop <sighs> yeah, Dogg, Eminem, it. Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. Like it may be Valentine's, and obviously it's like love, we've got floating hearts and stuff, but there's an amazing show happening in the US tonight. Are you going to watch it? Yeah, I'm going. I know H loves the Super you're Bowl. You're off. You're going to see it? I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah, same. Why didn't you shout me? Oh. Sorry. Are you excited? No. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, bye. Yeah. <laughs> but my flight's in a minute, actually. I really have to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Would you do you think that like the UK can like do we have people like that who can fill that type of slot not in America but like here oh, in the UK? Get us now people don't. We, but we don't we check don't, for people like that. We, it's not. It's we not don't the make history. Music like that. Yeah, we don't make music like that. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. I was gonna say yeah. I was gonna say no, but only because like the the scene. We, we, we will get there. Like, it's definitely getting there now. Like, we've got artists that are making real money now with big productions now. People caring about the music now. Yeah. And it's not like, not like MCs didn't care back in the day, but man would have 116 and they'd spit in 24 different clubs, innit? Yeah. So, our scene's grown slower than America, innit? You can hear what you're saying, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta get myself cancelled. But, big up, obviously, everyone that laid the foundations. Like, no, sick. but it's just, it's a tradition. Every time you come on the show, one of us has got to get cancelled. So, yeah, like, we might as well, yeah, yeah. well, yeah. well be like, you. Been cancelled every time I've come on here. They, 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 they've, they've, their thing has been massive for forever, basically. Yeah. America kind of set the tone, innit? Oh, no, definitely. If you love a banger, don't forget, uh, Manny Norte is going to be here very soon with the Norte show, and I don't think that he should escape the snog, marry, and avoid game, so we're going to put him to the test as, as well. Question before anyone goes anywhere. Did you save me chocolates, H? Yeah, of course. Because I, I felt like you were munching. No, why say eight? these two of us? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't open. He's going to give this to his girl. We didn't open them. I'm just eating yours, isn't it? Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny Norte.
Norte is on the way of the Norte show. A little while ago, we played Snog, Marry, Avoid, and yeah. it was quite fun uh -oh. on uh, Capital Extra. So we've got Manny uh -oh. here. Yep, yep, yep. Hi. What's going on? You're right. Yes. How's, the, uh, how's the prep going for the Norte show? Yes, it's fantastic. It's possibly the best mix show in the UK, and we're always representing. <laughs> 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 nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came ready to, to sell. Look at the RD and H. What's going on, boys? I'm good, my brother. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up on a new song as well. Thank you. Are you, um, are you looking? Are you going to play Snog Marion Avoid with us? Is that? I'm gonna... ready. I'm ready. I was trying to skirt, skirt. Yeah, I'm ready. Go. No, on. no, no. You, you, you've got the, you've got the card yeah, I got there. Yeah, got something there for you. Oh, okay. So you asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, go yeah. then. Snog Marion Avoid. <clears throat> Naomi Campbell, J Lo, or my and my Jammer. Ah! Wait. So wait. Snog Marry Avoid. Come on, Uncle. Come on. <laughs> That's it. Uncle oh, Cool, you know. Don't have it. Wait, so. <laughs> Naomi Campbell. So, uh, J Lo from the block. Yeah. Or oh, Maya Jama. And Maya Jama. So, and gonna, Maya Jama, sorry. Yeah. So, so, Naomi Campbell first. No, no, no. no You've no, got, no. got a snog pick, one. Pick, yeah, snog one. Marry one, one avoid, avoid one. one. Okay, I'll snog. Um. Uh. Ah, this is Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey. 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 I will snog. I will snog. <laughs> I will snog. To snog I will or snog. not to snog? To snog. I, wait, wait, wait. I will ah. I will snog J Lo. A nice, long, soft, small, uh, slow one. Small, small, small kiss. No, no, no. A big one. A big one. Uh, I will snog J Lo. I will marry. Naomi Campbell, so she can put me onto game, and I'd avoid Maya because that's the homie. Right. Right. That's the, that's the sis. You know what I mean? Nice. Okay, nice, nice. Safely done. Safely, Safely done. done. A nice yeah. long, yeah. small, yeah. small Safely snog. Done that, yeah. Yeah. In fact, yeah. no, a very long snog with J Lo actually. To be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay, you can tell us more about it at seven. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, nice one. <laughs> This is Yinka on Capital Extra with RD and H. Lads, it's been so much fun. Thank you for Thank breaking you. hearts, for making love, I guess, Whoa. for singing. For singing yeah. on the radio, <laughs> for snog marrying and avoiding. Yeah. Congratulations on war. It's been Thank wicked. You. Um, Thank you. Yeah, so if you're listening, this is your last warden actually. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. The, don't forget it. The shops might be shut now, but you can go to one petrol station and you can just get you can just get one flowers for your bay and it'll be fine. Take the price tag off it though. Don't get caught. Cool. You can have don't, H's flowers. Yeah, don't let them know that you've got a pe petrol station. Uh, not Sainsbury's. So Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Norte is up next. I'll be back tomorrow morning with Shane Maria at 6.30. Happy Valentine's Day. And hey, thank you, guys. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. Hiccups, then. <laughs>